we're back. What's up guys, Zach Hample here with you, Fenway Chris behind the camera, <laughs> coming to you from Bradenton, Florida, Lecom Park, spring training home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. And listen, the last time that I was in Florida for spring training, man, it was so long ago, I'm gonna put a picture of myself up on the screen and step aside, you ready for it? In three, two, one, boom! Ho oh, ho ho! Yes sir! I was 16 years old. So, really pumped to be back and to bring you lots more videos this season. Now, just so you know, baseballs that I catch in spring training do not count for my grand total, they're not part of my collection, but they do count for breaking in this brand new custom baseball glove. So, I'll give you a closer look at this later on. For right now, just looking forward to getting inside for some batting practice. Pirates are playing the Orioles. I have hats of both of those teams. Might throw those on in a bit. But yeah, off to the races. Let's do it. So what's the story? Well, that's the left field foul pole. You know, until this place opens up, I'm trying to see if there's some place to stand or, you know, if there's backfield access, some place to catch a home run before going inside. Not seen it yet. I am on the board here at spring training. That feels really good. And there's an awesome setup on this party deck out in right field. A gorgeous view of the field itself. And if you do a 180 and swing all the way around, there's this little practice area in back where the pitchers are warming up. So I feel like you can get baseballs in all sorts of directions. Really gotta look alive. And by the way, I have no idea who it was that threw that baseball. All I said as it gets quieter in between songs was, hey, any chance you could toss one up here? And he turned around and did, so looks like a lot of righties are in this group, so I'm gonna head over to left field. Okay, thanks a lot. Just let the record show that I am three for three with this glove. That first toss up out in right field, I was like, oh God, don't rattle out of this thing. This is a beauty, by the way. Get a nice close shot of it. This glove is made by Buckler. I'll throw a link to their website and Insta in the description. They sent this to me for free. And uh, yeah, like I said, trying to break this thing in. Sitting around you, please be alert at all times. Remember that for your safety and the safety of the players, coaches, and officials, please stay off the field as it is exposed to COVID. Access in any public place regardless of precautions that may be taken. Do not grab or pull on the protective netting, and please keep your distance from the netting at all times, as objects may cause the netting to move and could cause injury. Fans COVID-19 is extremely Provide the ball. Ha! I gotta break this thing in anyway. Thank you. Yo, behind you, behind you. Last one. All 
right. Thank you, my man. So, I think that's nine baseballs today. Normally, I keep much closer count during the regular season when I do count the baseballs. There was one toss-up. I believe Fenway Chris was getting some beautiful shots of the batter in the cage, and I got an unexpected toss-up. So, I think nine is the tally. And, man, the Pirates are so cool. I kind of wish I were going to be here for more than just one game. Oh. Whoa, that one went Fenway Chris, over can I get a the bleachers. Picture? Over the bleachers. Well, I am officially in love with this stadium. There is so much room to run in the outfield. You got the party deck in right field, and then all kinds of space in front of the bleachers in left, and I took advantage. Action nonstop. I was catching home runs with my new glove, getting toss-ups, and one of the highlights for me was using my glove trick to pick up a ball way down below the outfield wall in a little fenced-off area where nobody could get to. Now, I've shown the glove trick in videos in the past. I actually haven't used it for a while, there is an entire separate video on my YouTube channel about the glove trick and how to set it up. So I will link to that in the description. Definitely check that out and try to do it for yourself. It's really fun if you can get it to work. And so nine baseballs today, that was the total. Kind of interesting that the Orioles did not hit. It was all Pirates, which was fine because they were crushing the ball. I assume the Orioles took BP at their own ballpark before heading over this way. And so just a couple quick things that I want to tell you guys. If you like this shirt, why don't you pick one up for yourself on my website, zachhampel.com slash merch. I'll link to that in the description. And as a lot of you guys probably know, there's a documentary about me coming out in just a few days. And see if you can get a shot of this. It's called Zach Hampel versus the World. This thing is 95 minutes long. It's so good. I hope all of you get a chance to watch it. I'll throw some info about that in the description as well. And the Orioles are getting ready for the game. Their bullpen is right down there. Got to try to catch up with my buddy Ben Carhart, bullpen catcher. Just so many good vibes here today. Is that Mr. Ben Carhart? What's up, brother? What is up? Hey, when's your TV come out? The, uh, oh, the documentary? Seven days, yes. This man knows seven days from uh, now. Yeah, yeah, see, I'm following. Okay. Yeah, it's good to see you, man. Likewise. Yeah. Late days in We also have seven home. Please wait until they break in at night. Jordan, what's up? How are we doing? Thanks very much. Adding six, playing first base, number 41, Tyler Nevin. Thanks very much. Adding six, playing first base. Wow. Number 82. How about that? So you can hear the starting lineups being announced. I said earlier that you could get baseballs on both sides, and I just proved it. So I think that's double digits, guys. Always love it when that happens.
Pirates are looking a little bit sloppy today, but the Orioles are in control. They are winning 6-0 right now in the third inning. And you can see where I've been hanging out. This glorious walkway where I was dominating during batting practice. I wish someone would send a game home run out this way because I'd be all over it. But I'm actually going to leave this spot in just a bit because my buddy Ben in the Orioles bullpen told me that Anthony Sanders, who is the first base coach for the Orioles, is looking for me. So I'm going to head into foul territory in just a bit, try to catch him when he's taking the field. And I got to introduce you guys to this man, Max, come on in here. How's it going, everyone? You may have just seen him catch a toss-up in between innings. Maybe you saw him in BP. This is my intern, and don't leave me hanging. He's been doing an amazing job actually running the Instagram account at Zach Hample Movie. So, um, you know, if you DM that account, he'll answer you. You can follow him as well. What's your own personal Insta? Max underscore Edelman. All right, I'll throw all that in the description. So. Thank you for everything. He helped me plan out this spring training trip. Fellow ball hawk, we know each other from New York. So, uh, you know, he's six foot five. I'm only 5'11", so I'm hoping he won't crowd me too much because I have no chance against this height. Yes! Hey, go, 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 It's very crowded over here on the first base side. The Pirates have scored three runs. And Coach Sanders should be out here any moment. Guys, I'm starting the year light, okay? Doing a pretzel, the cheese cup, and water. Thankfully, not Dasani. You remember that whole thing? So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna find some shade somewhere and sit and eat and watch the game. So that just happened. That was a Cole Tucker foul ball that obliterated that car's windshield. Bad luck for the owners of the Red Ford, but I gotta say, that's a pretty stupid place to park. Right now we're in the seventh inning, Orioles are clinging to a seven to six lead. So this has turned out to be a slugfest. And of course, the inning when I left to go get food, someone hit a home run right into the walkway like 20 feet from where I was standing. So I hope that's not a sign of things to come for the rest of this season, but anyway, just a few more innings to go. We'll see how this thing wraps up. Let to get out of it, man. Good pitching. Is this open? Does it? Oh, look at that. What a really fun way to wrap up my first game back at Florida Spring Training in 28 years. 
Orioles coach Anthony Sanders came over to say hello with his son Troy, who watches my videos. And it was really good to finally meet him in person. These guys are so friendly, the Orioles, so I'm wearing my hat to give them a little love at the end of this video. They held on to win this game 10 to 9. Like I said earlier, they were winning 6 to nothing. The Pirates came back and tied it. So this game took about three and a half hours. I really think MLB needs a pitch clock more than they need to get rid of pitchers hitting, but we'll talk about that another time. Anyway, I got 12 baseballs today, I think, if I was counting right. And I just want to show you just a few of them close up. Fenway, Chris, if you can get these logos, you can see they're really smudged. I don't know if there's a different kind of ink that's being used or, you know, they're just breaking out old balls because it's spring training, but no commemorative logos. There have been special spring training balls in years past. I guess they're not doing it this time. I did get one game or a third out ball, just a regular Manfred ball, so whatever. Um, yeah, tomorrow I am planning to go to two different stadiums in one day. Lakeland in the morning, Tampa in the evening, so stay tuned for all that action. And again, check the description, all kinds of info there. So great to be back. Thank you guys for watching.